I've never beaten a single Five Nights at Freddy's game before, which is probably a good thing, but recently, I felt like changing that. And what better way than to be as many as I can in one stream? Inspired by Astral Spiss every FNAF game speedrun, although less ambitious, I set out to see how many games I could beat in one stream having only ever played the first one. I've definitely seen a lot of FNAF content, but I've never actually tried it myself, so I was a bit worried about how this would go, but I actually ended up surprising myself. For this video I stuck to the mainline FNAF games, sorry FNAF world enthusiasts, but without any further gobsmacking, enjoy the video. Yami Mash was telling me about this game, apparently it's supposed to be really good, and really scary, so we're just gonna see how it goes. And that is a very terrifying animatronic bear. I imagine I'll probably get past this first night, no problem. Okay, well, never mind, I guess. That might sound bad, I know. Don't worry, man, I am an absolute expert at this game. I'm basically an expert. I have my bachelor's degree in FNAF. Aye, aye, Captain. Right, yes, good sir. Night. Good night. Love you. I do think the first game is my favorite aesthetic. I don't know. I think as the series goes on, uh, Scott kind of just got too into just trying to making the animatronics attractive. Um, but we won't get into that. But this first night should be a breeze. Just conserve power. Keep an eye on those doors. Respect the animatronics. I'm not crushing on the animatronics, okay? I said that's not a problem in the first game, okay? Anyway. <gasps> Hello. Okay, well, nice talking to you. I- no, I- I- I have no, like, attraction to the FNAF animatronics, okay? Opinion on Toy Chica? Don't get me started, okay? We're, let's not get into that, okay? At least wait till we get to FNAF 2. I don't want to open that can of worms. All I'm gonna say is that Scott knew what he was doing. Holy cow, Project Gother. Thank you for five bucks. I'm gonna go buy like a candy bar. And I'm gonna write your name on it in marker and I'm gonna eat it. And I'm gonna be so happy. Anyway. Yeah, Bonnie's running laps around the office. I don't know what his deal is. Well, give me your firstborn. That's really not necessary. Secondborn is fine, really. I'm not... I'm pretty humble. I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? So true, man. Uh, Up top. To well, Dream Team are off the stage. Uh, sure you think the internet has made FNAF less scary? I think Scott Cawthon himself made FNAF less scary. But yeah, for sure, I think the internet played a pretty good part in that. Did you ever think Chica was a duck? No, because I'm not an idiot and I know Chica is a chicken. Bonnie the bunny. Chica the chicken. He doesn't even have webbed feet. Anyway, sorry, I get a little bit emotional about that. Who do I think is the most attractive if I were hypothetically attracted to one of them? I'm not even answering that. I'm not- no. You can pay, you can pay me money <laughs> if you want me to answer that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Anyway, I was gonna say before phone guy started yapping his mouth off, smacking his gobsmackers, one thing I always found really strange about the FNAF series that I don't think anyone ever brings up for some reason is that the uh, the animatronics in this game don't look like any animatronics you would see in real life. They're, all their joints and stuff are just like exposed and they look really robotic. Any any animatronic restaurant you go to in real life, they're like covered in fur and they like they don't look like that. Uh oh, Foxy's speaking. How much do I know about the FNAF lore? Enough to be embarrassing. Like all of it. Yeah, exactly. The posters portray them. Like, even like the drawn stuff, they look like robotic and it's like, that's really strange. No one ever addresses that and I've always thought that was really weird. I cannot believe- I actually feel so guilty that you donated because of that. Okay. If I hypothetically were attracted, thank you by the way. <laughs> Are we talking, like, all animatronics, like, across, like, the course of FNAF? Ever? All? Okay. Let me put my thinking cap on. An answer worth five dollars, okay. Why am I taking this question so seriously? You've actually got me, like, I'm having a really hard time deciding. 
You'd say fun time in Toy Chica. Bonnie, what is your problem? There's just too many options, really. Uh, probably... Nightmare Freddy. Final answer. I'm not even gonna say a female character, because I feel like that would be too revealing. Yay, I did it. Like I said, I mean, it's hard to pick, because, you know, after FNAF 1, Scott just really focused on making them attractive. You could say that made the series better or worse, but we're not going to get into that. Nightmare Freddy is a DILF, technically. Okay, I changed my mind. Most people don't last this long. Oh, most people... Uh... Of course not, buddy. Anyway, I, I up top. Up Two seconds in and Chica's already beeline to the kitchen. Good for her. Uh, if your plan is to, like, distract me from the game by asking me which animatronics I think are attractive, then you're, be you're doing a pretty good job, to be fair. What do you mean I changed my mind? I don't know, man. I'm not ready to have kids. Do I think FNAF should retire William Afton? I think they should have done that, like, three years ago. This might be, like, super controversial. But I really wouldn't have minded if FNAF ended at, like, the third game. Or the fourth game, really. But the thing is, I, I can't really be honest about that, because Pizza Sim's ending cutscene for, like, the true ending was so hard. Night 3, 2 a.m. Bonnie has not moved at once. It's tired from, like, the past two nights, I guess. Actually, I'll offer a different answer. Wow, that was quick, Foxy. Okay. I would have been fine with Liam Afton staying alive if they handled his character better. I'll say that. But now I'm on edge with Foxy because he apparently succeeded like two movement opportunities in the time I was just like taking a five second break from the cameras so that's cool. Yeah Vanessa was also unnecessary but she was not handled very well at all. One of the things in Security Breach that perplexed me the most was like the bit where Vanessa tries to lure you to this stage and she's like being very seductive and it was like, what? Very strange. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, her best contribution to FNAF was the white woman jump scare though, so that was nice. What are you looking at, buddy? Go away. Yeah, the romantic tension should have been between me and Vanessa, for real. Or me and Mike, I don't know. Oh, good, 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 good. I'm always surprised because I forget the nights in this game are like eight minutes long. Yay! My biggest problem with the FNAF movie is just that Mike was literally sleeping for all of it. Uh, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. It's, it's What's wrong, phone man? Can I help? Oh no. You're gonna make it out, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. What happened? Uh, I think the main issue is just making sure Foxy doesn't come, because it's like not likely that I'll die from him, but the power drain would definitely kill me. Bonnie, I'd appreciate you, but thanks. I hope I'm not being too unentertaining. This does require a little bit of concentration. An F2 will be easier speaking wise. I guess that's maybe may true. We'll see. See, guys. Games are just easy. Soup is hot, cereal is cold. I, I'm of the opinion that it only counts as cereal if it's like specifically meant to be cereal. <laughs> that phone call sounds really funny, I'm not gonna lie. Do you guys remember those old how to make FNAF not scary videos? And it was like someone getting like the jump scares and like overlaying like music and subtitles and doing like a stupid voice for all of them. Looking back on them now, they're kind of hard to watch. I'm sure everyone's like at least heard or seen part of one of those. They were really big. Different time on the internet, honestly, back when people were more mentally stable, I guess. I, I don't care about the soup philosophy, man. I don't like philosophy anyway. We do have some spare power, honestly. See? Night 5 is easy. We have officially beaten Five Nights at Freddy's. Zero deaths. What did I tell ya? Okay guys, I, I went through and I beat the game without dying. Do I try the sixth night? Mike Schmidt! This has lore significance. Isn't that the guy from the movie? 
Ooh, I'm theory crafting right now. Wait, wait, don't tell me. I'm concocting something. My gosh, I just figured it out. Okay, we're doing the six night. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, this is already a bad start. Sorry, I've gone quiet again. Bonnie's really been my bane on this night, I'm not gonna lie. We actually might end up running out of power. Okay, well... Come on, man. Okay, we did it. Night six is over. <laughs> no problem. What did I tell you guys? It's so easy. Daco wishes. I, I, I like literally, I felt Freddy Fazbear coming into me. Anyway, we won't get into that. Do we, do we give 420 a chance? And 20? There's not even 10 animatronics in this. What are you, like what? What are you tripping off of? 420 mode, here we go. I already know what 1987 does. Don't even Golden Freddy jump scare me. I would pee my pants. I can't keep doing that, man. Don't do that to me. Hope everyone's having a good day today. I'm having a swell day. Good thing Chica really loves the kitchen. She's using all of her movement opportunities to eat, and you know what? I respect it. Darn. And I just checked him. It is what it is. Do we move on to FNAF 2? What's the consensus? I'll get another go. That's my consensus. I don't even care what you say. Lol. I'd say as far as power goes, we're like a tad behind on power. By 1% maybe. Although that is technically Foxy's fault. Whoop. Close one. I think if I keep checking Foxy, I should be able to get through the rest of the night without him attacking again. Should. We're gonna have to pray a little bit here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Didn't expect to do that. The stream just thought I was gonna play Five Nights, but cool. Whatever. All right. To to not die throughout the entire game and only die once on 420 mode. Listen, all I'm saying is if I posted this back in like 2015, people would have like gone hog wild. You know, they would have been cranking hogs out the wazoo. Is what I'm saying. Uh, but we won't get into that. FNAF 1 ended without a hitch, and I was already ahead of the pace I set for myself, even with beating the 69 420 mode. Now I was on to FNAF 2, which was my first big worry. Some people consider this the hardest FNAF game, with how much is constantly happening and how much you need to keep track of. So I wasn't too confident in myself. Y'all aren't gonna get the cool cutscene because Streamlabs uh, doesn't want me to show it to you. If it makes you feel any better, it sucks anyway. Not the cutscene no one understands. Dude, it's literally- okay, let me explain this to you, because apparently I need to break it down to stupid people like you. Ugh, and Scott Coth wasted his creative his creative vision on people like you that just can't understand. Okay, so basically, in this starting cutscene, you start off and you're actually inside of Freddy's head and you look to the left and the right and you see what? You see Bonnie and then you see Chica. Okay, well, let's break this down really quick. It's just, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So basically, 
what this signifies is that you are the spirit of the dead child inside of Freddy, and you're looking at the other animatronics, and it's actually, it's actually quite gruesome, uh, to tell you the truth. It's actually quite a quite a um, very sad, very sad moment uh, in the lore, in in the lore and everything. Uh, but we won't get into that. Anyway, welcome to FNAF 2. This game was very divisive, to say the least. And there's Toy Chica. I did say I would talk about this whenever I got to the game, didn't I? I shouldn't have said that. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? What's uh, up, man? Now, that being said, no new system is without it. Kinks. Kinks. Uh, Trust me, the uh, FNAF, the the FNAF games and its community, they're full of quirks and kinks. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Oh, well, the problem with that is that we know the truth, right? And the, the phone guy, no no offense to him, but he just doesn't know that they're actually possessed by the spirits of children. Vengeful spirits, if you will. But uh, let's let's give him a pass this time, okay, everyone? Where's the rabbit? Aw, he got his guitar. That's cute. Technically, the toys aren't possessed. Well, technically... I suppose you're true, they just think you're William Afton, because as you know, uh, Michael Afton, his son, is actually the one we're playing as because we're searching for our father, uh, but we won't get into that. Oh, gosh. Please don't put that in front of me. What do I think about the whole FNAF VHS thing? I think it's cool. I heard the dude that make it ended up being a horrible person. Not that that's very rare on the internet, but, you know, uh, it's good. Mungo. Where's Mungo? There she is, or he, depending on your opinion on that matter. Uh, but I expect this game to be a breeze. Except for the fact that I don't really know how it works as much as the other one, but don't worry about it. Ugh. Chica's sus. She is in the vents, to be fair. But yeah, I'm a little scared of this game. Not like scared like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soil my britches. But I mean like scared as in, I know it's difficult, which is scary because I'm bad at games. You can just honestly come walk straight through this doorway if you feel like it. Okay, bye. Well, looks pretty easy to me. He did tell me. He is, he's uh, an honest man. By now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, me for real. Uh, so the company... Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen. Uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, on Holy Foxy. crap. Foxy streams on twitch.tv. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Love you. Uh, you'd watch Foxy streams? I don't know, man. I think the pirate stick would get old pretty quickly. Ooh. Now, a foxy bathtub stream? That would be a sight to behold. In one way or another. Foxy seems like the, like the kind of guy that would get banned off of Twitch pretty quickly, to be fair. Knowing him. Anyway. I want someone to make like a, like an hour version of the FNAF mask breathing. And like upload it as like ASMR to YouTube. Whenever someone subscribe, I'm not saying R. I'm not doing that. Oh, are you saying that's what Boxy would do? I thought that was a command. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, suffocating ASMR. Wow, what? Want... I'm not gonna say R now. I, I'm sorry for even mentioning it. Chica, you can just come into the office at this point. I really don't mind. Yay! I'm not. I can, I'll say I, I, matey. But I'm not doing it in a pirate voice, I'll tell you that much. A yo-ho-ho? -ho? I might... Okay, I might slip into a yo-ho-ho -ho a couple, maybe once or twice, but that's that's it, okay? That's the extent of it. <gasps> Chica! And... Boniver Con Oliver! What are you looking at? Is my fly down? I'm not saying ara ara. I'm not even going to be like that famous clip of the girl saying, I'm not saying it, and then she says it, and it's like, <gasps> that was funny, because it's not funny. It's infuriating. I want to find whoever did that, and okay, I'm going to stop talking. Probably not. He's such a freaking nerd. You know, I would definitely steal uh, this guy's lunch money if we were like both in middle school. The mangle. Well, 
and blows through him in the back. Said he's caught some mangle or some made off bunch of parts kids pull them apart and stick them back together. We call him the mangle. Okay, just give him a stroke, I guess. Hello? What? Hi. You'll notice since I've even been playing, we're on night three and I've barely looked at the cameras besides rewinding the music box. Oh, hey. Slinky Steve is up and at him. Why did I call him that? Say yeehaw. I, I have this condition. I can't say yeehaw unless I say it like really loudly in like a very official cowboy voice. It just feels like it's the only white, or like not white, the only right way to say it. There might be a white way to say it too, which is like maybe just a really bad cowboy impression, but. Anyway, I might do Ara Ara in a, in a pirate voice. I might, I might be able to handle that. Wait, let us at least get to the third game, okay? No, because I live... I'm gonna peek my mic also. I live with my family. I'm not screaming at the top of my lungs. I don't even know where these guys are coming from. Luckily, I think they keep overlapping, so they just don't go. Ooh, ooh, in a pirate voice? I don't even know how to do a pirate voice. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. You guys want me to embarrass myself. You want me to... You want to take a clip of it and upload it... You want to upload me doing something embarrassing and then post it online and you're gonna, you're first you're gonna upload it, then you're gonna post it online, but then I'm gonna be embarrassed and you're gonna make fun of me and I'm gonna feel horrible. And you're gonna look at the funny clip and be like, look, he said the funny thing in the funny voice and I'm gonna see that the next day and I'm gonna cry in the corner of my room, okay? But we won't get into that. Can I wear a, can I wear a skirt and thigh highs while I say it? What is wrong with you? You gotta wait till at least like 100k before I get on a camera with a skirt and thigh highs, okay? I'm not saying it's impossible, because that would be funny. But, um, well, there we go. That's a good noise. Me after the lobotomy. Chica looks like she's about to insult my shoes. Can you please not look at me like that? Golden Freddy! Now what are you doing, Buster? I have thought about that before. I'm actually, you know what? Scratch that, I'm not going to continue that statement. Alright, I need to stop backing myself into, like, verbal corners here. And somewhat of an investigation going on. He sounds like such a loser. No offense to him, of course. Foxy's been lovingly gazing into my eyes for this, like, entire hour. Can you take a vacation, man? I know you like me. Yeah, this is the second one. Which, we should be fine for this night if I don't mess up horribly. But, you know, it's always in the cards. But uh, hopefully I don't play that one. I just had a feeling. Yeah, this is Security Breach. This is the DLC. Quit squeaking. Oh! The Vengeful Spirit! Actually, though, that's Golden Freddy, isn't it? That Cassidy... I'm, I'm not even going to nerd out about that. I don't want you guys making fun of me. I'm gonna say something wrong and you're gonna put on your glasses and push them up and they're gonna get like an anime glare on them and you're gonna be like, well, actually, uh, you're wrong. Okay, well, fifth night, everyone. This is where things get a little bit real. No, 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 no. Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. That has lore significance, everyone. Write that down in your notepads. The winding is really satisfying. I don't know how he did it, but that like, the winding makes me feel good. Not in like a weird way. I'm not really sure how Foxy works. I just kind of spam the flashlight at him and hope. That was such a late reaction. Wow. You gotta be snappy. I say late reaction. That was like half a second of reaction, but that is slow in this game, unfortunately. 20 flashes and bro dips, is that like an exact number? I don't feel... <laughs> that doesn't feel right. I know he will dip after 20 flashes, but is that like the minimum? Okay, well, I can attest that it is not 20. Like how you can tell, like whenever Mangle's on a camera, it's just a PNG slapped on top of it because the flashlight doesn't shine off of it. Okay, I hope that wasn't a late reaction because I wasn't even. 
I wasn't even looking at my monitor whenever that happened. I was looking at the chat on my second monitor. Okay, well... Busy, thank you. Sheesh. It's only 2 a.m., guys. Do not make shipping art called Fox Locks. I will leave YouTube forever. Okay. I was probably like a few seconds away from winning, too. Well... There's a FNAF book where Matt Pat becomes pregnant with Springtrap. I heard of that. I. <laughs> that's really funny. I wonder if Scott Cawthon did that just to screw with him. Yeah, it bothers me because Toy Bonnie's kind of like a wild card. I know his AI works a little bit differently from everyone else's. So uh, you can get kind of unlucky with him. Hi. Uh, you can't tell sometimes whether something is leaving or going with all the noise that goes on. Yeah, see, Toy... Ignore the voice crack, thank you. Toy Bonnie would have killed me there. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. so funny, though. Hello? Yeah, guys, I... Please be nice to me. I just started going through puberty recently. It's kind of... I'm going through a lot of changes. Please bear with me. It's a hard time in my life. Bonnie, if you do not go, okay. <laughs> Please! Gosh. Thank you, Toy Freddy. I assume you're body blocking Foxy for me. Oh, you turned into Wither Freddy. Spooky. Mango, I love you. Please go away. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We did it. Okay. I like how I, I happened to win on the attempt that was the most chaotic. Oh, yay, we did it. Jeremy Fitzgerald. Why Why are you in my, my chat room trying to convince me to be into these animatronics? I'm a one girl kind of guy, okay? Boy Chica is sufficient. And that's a joke, and don't ever say that it's not a joke, because it's not true. It's not true. Anyway. <laughs> no, don't- you're the mod, don't clip that. Okay, whatever. And with that, FNAF 2 was over. And I was really happy with my progress. Unfortunately, it was time for FNAF 3. Before this challenge, this was actually one of my favorite games from the series. Before this challenge, anyway. Unlike the other games, it can sometimes seem like there's no rhyme or reason to the way FNAF 3 works, so this ended up being a bit harder than I expected. Ashlock's Zestius Clips 2024. Dude, you made a video about that, it would be at least like an hour long, I'm not gonna lie. 2024 is gonna be Zest Fest all over again. What am I saying? Okay. You put a clip in the Discord you want me to see? This better not be... Oh my gosh. I might do Ara Ara. In a, in a pirate voice. I might... I might be able to handle that. Let us at least get to the third game. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna delete that post. Anyway, uh, everyone talk amongst yourselves. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm informing you all of this. Which is gonna be a feat in of itself because... Well, to, to start off, my house isn't very soundproof. And so whenever I start recording or streaming, I prop up an entire mattress against my doorway. So... Give me a second, I'll be right back. Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction, local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off for the new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Clearly, they've never watched Game Theory. The attraction opened in like a week. So we no have to way! Everything works, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner. Oh, I'll be making out with people in the corner. Really Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. This and place will give you the heebie-jeebies. I did a, I did a bit, right? I did a bit where I tried to like mimic. I don't know what you would call it. The, the high energy YouTuber, artificial voice, and a lot of people. I think that put them through a lot of pain. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, a lot of people uh didn't like that. They didn't. They weren't a fan. My video has like 200 comments, and at least half of them are like, "Please never do that again." 
which on one hand is incredibly funny, but it was crazy. Actually, I'll have to pull this up. I'm pulling this up on stream right now because it, the comment, it was just, we're not doing anything anyway. The comment was so, it was so bitter. Oh, wait, we're playing a game. Never mind. Sorry. I'll show you in a second. It, it was just so negative that I, it actually inspired me to make a folder on my desktop for like favorite comments I've gotten because it was just so, it was so good. What? No! There he is. Hi. Hi. Um, excuse me. How did you get here? That quickly? Um, okay. Hi. <laughs> so we're just gonna stare at this guy, basically. What an idiot. This is William Afton, everyone. The chump that supposedly killed a bunch of children. <laughs> but, um, there he is, just getting stuck in this one hallway. <laughs> we don't need video anyway. Yeah, freaking doofus, get out of here, man. <gasps> Ooh, goo -goo 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 -goo. <laughs> Why don't you go into that vent? Anyway, what did I say I was going to talk about during the during the third game? I postponed a topic. You must think I'm the biggest doofus in stupid town. Ah, uh, the pirate voice. Chica? No, I already covered Chica. Don't get me started on that again. I will not be able to stop. Anyway. Right, the Ara Ara. Still not doing that. I hear you in there, man. Oh, look, it's already blocked off. Looks like somebody predicted your plan. Well, you gotta give me some credit, I know what I'm doing. He looks really dumbfounded, he's just like, huh? What? No. Uh huh? Uh huh? I'm not gonna cave to this. I'll have you know my mental fortitude is like, in the tens. Whatever that means. I'll have you know I'm not prone to peer pressure. Okay, cool. Not too bad, not too shabby. Ah, oh, no! Get away! Oh, look at me predicting your movements. It's pretty sad, actually, but whatever. Tell you about my D&D character? Well, it's quite funny, actually. It is a, a two-foot rock gnome that weighs 65 pounds, which I inf was informed after making my character is very short and fat, and he, he is a wizard, obviously. I promised you that dude RR -R in the pirate voice. I never promised you that, don't gaslight me. I said, let's save that for FNAF 3. I said I'd talk about it, but I certainly did not say I would do it. You wanna play D&D? It's kinda hard to find people to play it with. You have to make sure you're not, like, playing with weirdos. Dude, I literally could not, okay. I knew he went into the vent and I was just about to close it, but I didn't expect him to, like, run on all fours to the vent like a wild animal. Finding someone to play D&D with is hard because, I don't know, you have to risk coming into contact with some strange people, or you have to risk people thinking you're strange, in which case, neither are good. How are you in two places at once, buddy? Don't even do that to me. Oh yeah, I, I remember seeing that you can hallucinate multiple spring traps. I don't know who... Thought that was a good idea. Okay. Um, uh oh, he's getting close. His theme song's playing. Yeah, Springtrap's iconic, like, entrance theme. He really sprints out of those vents. He just went back into the vents again. What a freaking idiot. I wouldn't be caught dead. I, <laughs> I saw him run across my screen just as... Wow. <gasps> anyway. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear it from the dude bro that doesn't know what he's talking about. Where are he at though? Spring brap. There he is. There he is. Where is he? There he is. Where are your toesies? There they are. I sure hope spring trap isn't about to freaking come and get me. Oh wait, he's already here. No, he's gonna run away now because he knows I'm trolling him. 
Did you go into that vent again? Dude, you are top tier buffoonery. I'm like manly badass hero with better content and cringe, just the right amount. I don't know about that. I mean, manly's pretty good. Where else am I supposed to watch videos about incredibly obscure itch.io horror games? Do I still have beef with Floydson? Always. I, I actually have a list of people that I've just decided I have beef with, and I'm like silently competing with them, but they don't know it. I guess you could say that's like my source of self-motivation, but like, it's it's funnier to just say I'm like bitter towards a ton of different people that I'm competing with that have no idea I exist. Oh my gosh, this guy is such an idiot. This is the third time he's gone into the same vent. Try again. He's just dumbfounded like, huh? What happened? I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of VTubers on my hit list. Maybe I shouldn't call it a hit list. That's I'll leave it at that. They make me so angry. This guy's falling for the oldest trick in the book. Cam Tin Vent. Cool. Guys, it's Foxy the Pirate, a fan favorite character in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Oh my gosh, I love Foxy. That's my favorite! He has a hook and an eye patch, and he's so cool, and he says, oh, Yar, because he's a pirate. And what can I say? I guess I have a thing for pirates, but that's not, that's really not what's important right now. The important thing is I just love Foxy the pirate. Oh, joy. Erm, um, what the flip? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be controversial and say YouTubers are awful, but I will say that I don't like them. Well, at least he's back here. His favorite timeout corner thing is, I heard two vent noises, so that means while I was resetting the cameras, he walked back out and then walked in again. I I really like FNAF 3, actually, Hello. but I won't lie, I think the gameplay leaves a little bit to be desired. Well, great, you've given me a panic attack. What's wrong with you? Well, guys, that kind of sucked. Erm, um, excuse me, buddy, I called you over. Thank you, McSpank you. What? So you're telling me there were actually two fake spring traps? Okay, well, <laughs> that makes that significantly harder. Well, anyway. And he's in the vents, so I hope it's not the one that I don't have blocked off. Which it probably is. Okay, well. I actually really like the jump scares on FNAF 3, like they're really fluid and look good. But a lot of people are like, they're just bad because they- He doesn't jump out at you, he just like slowly comes up to you and it's really not scary. And it's like, Hello? that implies that like any of the other jump scares from the other games are scary. Okay. Listen, I, I'm really enjoying our romantic moment together, but I'm busy. How lucky do you think I can get and not die? Oh, spring trap, my dear. Hello. Hello. Time to die. If spring trap hit the thug shaker, I would be so happy. I think my issue is I, I have no idea where he is ever. Mainly because my cameras are constantly non-functional. I hear him slurping down the hallway. Yes! We have him cornered. We're gonna hope he's an idiot. He's an idiot. Thank the goodness. Yeah, the spring traps not wearing his ankle monitor. He broke out of the shared home. I like the video of Withered Freddy twerking. That one's nice. Um, I think I'm dead. <laughs> Let's see if we can wait this out to fight. We can wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Wait a second. The crying child? Hold up a second. I know what this is. I know what this means. Wait a minute. Something tells me we're about to see a very purple guy. I have never seen anyone hit the nay nay so hard. Get MadPat on the phone right now. I know you all have his phone number. <gasps> He's in the suit! What is this? What? He's laughing?
No way. And uh, there we go, we're gone. Bad ending. Well, you know, sometimes that's just how things are in life, so... This changes everything. What is the significance behind this? Interesting. Nightmare mode? No. But hey, we can see, we can really check him out in all of his glory now. In the... That font. Okay. Bubble buddy. I don't like this game. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually, this was one of my favorite FNAF games, but after that, after having p played it, my, my, my opinions changed a little bit, to be frank with you. But as myself also. After finally beating FNAF 3 and being thoroughly exhausted, FNAF 4 was up next. This was another one I was really worried about, because it was the one I actually knew the least about going into. Additionally, FNAF 4 is heavily sound-based, so I really wasn't looking forward to this one. I'm kind of concerned about this one, because this is another one that I'm a little inexperienced with. Five days until the party. <laughs> what did he do to you? What, 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 what did he do this time? He locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I am here with you. Thank you, man. I guess. I don't care, really. These are my friends. Bat chance, loser. Yeah, just lay down and cry, I guess. Tomorrow is another day. Here we go. I remember FNAF 4 really surprised me. As well as like a lot of other people, because it's just really different. Now the first night usually isn't that bad in any of the games. I'm not saying Ara Ara. What is wrong with you people? I don't understand the infatuation. You just want me to say it because you know I don't want to. You're just being cruel and like poking at a dead animal for amusement. That's what you're doing right now. Actually, I'll tell you what, I can turn up the sound for you guys because this is a really quiet game. Which sucks. The The mixing on this game is absolutely like, what's the word? Hold up, I have to search my extensive and impressive vocabulary for the word I'm looking for. Oh, yay. Anyway. Um, I found it. I swear the, the mixing in this game is like malicious. Because the jump scares are so loud, but everything else that you actually want to hear is so quiet. I swear it's on purpose. Erm, um, where is he, lol? That always confused me. How is he fitting behind there? Is that like a flat screen TV? Supposedly it's like 1983, they didn't have flat screens back then, so this is stupid because how could he fit behind that TV? Tomorrow is another day. Fun with plush trap. Oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, the TVs with the dump trucks. That's a good way to put it. Alright. As far as graphically, I really like FNAF 4. Like, the fact that he, he made it to where you can see the reflection of the animatronics. Why did it cut out? Um, anyway, the way he made it to where you can see the reflections of the animatronics on the window was really cool. It would probably help if I knew what the breathing sounded like. Like that. Very quiet. Okay. Oh? How do you know whenever they've uh, gone away? Footsteps? Cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. Folksy. What? JK. Oh, okay. Cool. The sound design for this game is really good. I just wish everything wasn't so quiet compared to the jump scares. <laughs> he left without you. No. Oh, why don't you cry about it, loser? Hurry. Run toward the exit. Norp. No! Don't you remember what you saw? The exit is the other way. Hurry and leave. No! Okay, I gotcha. You have to be strong. Hit the gym. Oh, I stepped on my heel and I tripped. What a douchebag. Tomorrow is another day. Fun with flesh trap. Easy peasy. Let's hope I don't screw myself this time. They move quite quickly. Did you just get in my closet, dude?
I hear y'all. I don't have time. Yeah, he's so happy to see me. I hear nothing. Yeah. Okay, cool. He hates you. I want to meet this guy. Get me out of here. Where's your plush toy? Mine is Spring Bonnie. Why do they call him Spring Bonnie in the universe? My daddy says I have to be careful with him or I will pinch my finger. He's a finger trap, he says. That's funny. What are you doing over here? Hello, little girl. You better watch out. I hear they come to life at night. And if you die, they hide your body and never tell anyone. Why do you look so worried? See you at the party. Ha ha ha. Girls are creepy. Where are your parents? Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like in universe, there's no way everyone re like refers to him as Spring Bonnie. Wouldn't only the employees know about that? Why would customers refer to it as a spring lock suit and not like, I don't know, the name of the whatever. Just ignore me. It's fine. Are you going to the party? Everyone is going to the party. Oh, wait, you have to go. It's your birthday. Ha ha. Why is everyone giving me such flack if they're coming to my birthday? Like, why are you, you have you're like in no position to make fun of me if you're literally coming to my party? Like, what's wrong with you? I hear somebody giggling and kicking their feet. He's under my bed. No. Wowzers. Yeah, I, I beat the mini game again. Now we know I'm just gonna die immediately. I didn't hear nothing. I just heard him go into my closet. Nice. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm a little... Anyway, I'm a little stressed. Okay, cool. We did it. I'm not doing the pirate voice. Leave me alone. Please let me out. That spring body's got the most stoned face I've ever seen. Bro's not really doing anything. Um, what the flip? Too bad. This is where it gets real. Oh. I didn't know this night was the Golden Freddy night. Sorry, you're right. It's Fred Bear, really. <laughs> gotcha. We got this. It's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Not as hard as I thought it was. This should be a breeze. He's a big fat liar. He giggled and nothing happened. This dude must be on the track team. The way he's running all over my house. It was a fake! Okay. Uh, it wasn't a fake? What? I'm a little perplexed. I don't think I should have died. FNAF 3 sucked. It kind of did. I liked it beforehand, but after playing it, my, my my opinion has changed. One thing I don't like, sometimes he um, does the laughing sound effect without appearing just to distract you. Let's see. He was telling the truth this time. Good for him. He's being real aggressive. He likes the closet. Not gonna lie. He's got a thing for it. <laughs> okay, there we go. The party is today. No. Why, well, your brother's kind of a baby, isn't he? Does have a point. Why don't we help him get a closer look? He will love it. No! Please! Come on, guys. Let's give this little man a lift. He wants to get up close and personal. Hey guys, I think the little man said he wants to give Fredbear a big kiss. On three. One. Two. He didn't say three. 
I already know what people are going to start spamming in my chat. Was that the bite of 87? No, oh, they're, they're rolling in now. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. I'm not doing the pirate voice out of spite for you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Nightmare Freddy. Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Foxer. Nightmare Fredbear. Blush Trap. Uh? Making Foxy. Red Ball. That doesn't look anything like Foxy. <gasps> Never mind, it looks just like him. Six Knight, you want me to give it a try? I'm gonna die. Just so you know. First try? Uh oh. You might not want to say that. I wouldn't bet your money on that. But, um, you do you. Who's in my closet? It's certainly not me. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I did do it first try. The power of two bucks. Two dollars to do pirate ara ara? Oh my gosh, dude, really? Wait, 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 listen. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry. You're broken. We're still your friends. Do you still believe that? I'm still here. I will put you back together. Okay, um, guys, listen to me. I don't want you to judge me, okay? I don't even know how to do it. I didn't even get to see these because I'm too good at the game. Okay, maybe I'm having a little bit too much fun with that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get this guy his two dollars worth, okay? This isn't making it into the video, I want you all to know. I'm not putting this in the video. Okay. Ah, there's a lot of pressure. I'm getting sweaty. I'm like, I'm getting like cold sweats. Ara ara. There you go. I just- <laughs> You wasted your five bucks, I already did it. You wasted your money, you're stupid, you're an idiot. Thank you for the five dollars. FNAF 4 actually ended up being pretty easy after I got the hang of it. Sister Location was the next in line, and this one was quite a bit different from the other games. It actually ended up tripping me up a few times. Although at this point, I was pretty far into the stream and my tiredness was starting to show. Do a Kratos impression? I am not- <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. Am I becoming a pay to do an impression? Okay, give me a second. I need to freaking hear what Kratos sounds like. This is the last one. Anything after this and I'm not doing it, okay? <clears throat> No, I, I'm going to feel bad if I don't honor a $2 donation. Because I'm cheap, okay? You could get you could get me to do a lot for $2. You know what? You're, all you're going to get out of me is a Zeus. This isn't going to be good. It's going to be like his voice from the, the first game, not like the deep graveling one from uh, the, the, the latest Gods of War, okay? <clears throat> Zeus! There you go. There's your $2. I remember now that... Comment I was going to show everyone that I found really entertaining. He's such a yapper I can barely fit it on the screen. Yeah, and it's physically painful to watch. Dumbest idea a person has had for an irony bit. Literally put me off from your content as a first time watcher. Humor is not your strong point. Being on YouTube was your first clue there. I absolutely love it. I don't know what's going on in his life. I hope he's actually... I hope his life is going well. He seems like he might not be in a good place. Anyway, welcome to Sister Location. Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? No, 
and I will not sing the Star Spangled Banner if you give me $20. Your name as seen above the later, you so can give me $20. I'm not going to sing it for you, but you can still give me the money. My name is Eggs Benedict. I see what you were trying to type, and I will autocorrect it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. Man, that autocorrect is really good. First off, you're hurting my ego to be making me do these impressions. Second off, don't don't give me your money. I'm sure you could probably use it better than I can. <laughs> Tase him a little bit. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Bellora Excellent. Is feeling like her old. Anyway, sorry, I, I was jumping the gun there. Looks I just like wanted to tase him a bit. Taking the Let's try another controlled shock. You got a boss. Let's check the light and see what baby is up to. Baby's up to slacking off. Looks like a few of the Looks like we need around, to tase her. We can fix that later. Let's encourage baby to jump. Let me shock her. Let me shock her. I don't care if she's on stage or not. Another controlled shock. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Get her. Let's try another Great job, circus baby. We knew we could count on you. Include Great job, numb nuts. First night on the job. You're slacking we don't off. I want you to leave overwhelmed. I think baby's a little bit mad at me for shocking her three times in a row. Motion With trigger. zero hesitation. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Classic Upright wife moment. Upside down. Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation. To create I love stimulation. Filling work for I would mail. like angsty teen. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. Thank you for choosing angsty teen. Thank you. Funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but it's a story. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Ugh. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Guy's a little too into this, but sure. Me too. Great. 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 Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Just give me a gun, man. There seems um, to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I'll do it myself. I'm offline momentarily. Um, guys, I don't like this. I love what something scary is gonna happen. I don't recognize you. You are new. I am. I remember this scenario. Wow. However, maybe ignorance. There is I can a assure you, I am not desk. ignorant. Someone I stay politically you informed, thank you. A hiding place. Under the desk. Can't say this is my first time in this scenario. Yeah, why did she help me? I was freaking zapping the crap out of her head. What's up? G? What's bussin', fam? Norp. No! Are we holding on to the flat surface? I, I assume I've got like one of my fingers like maybe looped into one of these things, maybe not. No, because if I stuck my fingers out there, they they would have like they would have chomped my fingers off for sure. They would have bite of 87 my fingertips, man. Comes back online, you will die. What? Uh, I need to I, I I gotta get a different job. Speak British because the it main is character is British. You stay low to the ground and reach the Let me get a drink of water. Not that I have to ask permission, but I'm just being polite really. How do you talk in a British accent again? Quick, uh, I'm gonna go get a hammer and bust a few of my teeth. That might help. What's with this Ballora? I'm in this room. Quite scary. Just spinning around, going from side to side. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense, bruv. It's a robot anyway. It seems you are taking a long time. Ballora, that's a stupid name anyway. What is it, like a ballerina? Look at this stupid bloke spinning in circles like an idiot. Gotta get a point at the pub after this. I'm freaking tired, mate. Slapping my way across the room, walking on all fours like a freaking dog. Blimey. 
I got this damsel on my tail. Oh gosh. I didn't know you could die that close to the door. That's embarrassing. Or yeah, it, it shocked me out of my accident. Moment. I'm pretty confident she was like not close to me, but okay. I just gotta freaking slap my way over there yet again. I'm sick of it. Like, whenever I die, she sounds like she's really far to my left. We did it. Nearby <sighs> electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Calm down and go back to sleep. No one is here. It's true. Freaking step off, Freddy, man. Get out of here, man. <laughs> that is close. Okay. Sheesh. If I have to do the Ballora bit again, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to shoot a nut off. Just one. Tap the button. Okay. We shall see. We shall tap the ro- we not No, we're not tapping the robot. We shall tap the button. It seems you are taking a long time. Wow, okay, that works. Can I speed run this? Hey, man. Danger level's low, so go back, okay? I understand the sound cues now. Back off, buddy. I'll crack you in half. No one's here. Chap. Don't say that. Great job. This completes your tasks for the night. We did it. Please proceed back I through did the Ballora Gallery didn't really do with anything. care. Between Vlad and his distressed mistress, can they be reconciled? Can no. their love rise Divorce. again? Divorce. And more happening Divorce. Now. Divorce. Clear it up. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Daddy, I want to be killed by the robot, please. Won't you let me get killed by the robot? Welcome back. What am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? Ask myself every day. As well this as elevator is giving me shaken choices. baby syndrome. Please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Uh, competitive bongos. It seems you have- Thank you for selecting casual bongos. Oh! Your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Swell. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Laura, you're in pieces. Great. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before it. Great. As Confirmed. It be Funtime, Funtime Foxy auditorium. is apparently a girl. What about the lore? How about I go here? Um, actually. Yeah, don't even get started with me, man. Did you know that I was on stage once? It no, I didn't realize I'd have long. to. Okay, Only I don't want to be here. I don't want to listen to you. Then she never three, lets me talk about four, myself. Then two. Such a toxic relationship. They usually I was covered in glitter. Okay. Good thing she said glitter. There okay, two, anyway. Then three. There were oh, four, brother. Then three, then two. Dump her? Myself. Okay, and I'll I try. Singing. Huh. Gotcha. Great. Now carefully Great. locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Great. Good job. Good the job. Plates shouldn't have you will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Um, press the large where is that little scamp at? Bow tie well, to release the uh, I'm going to need to see where he went. Oops, sorry, I know you're shy. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I'll get to it whenever I get to it. Ooh, goo, 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 goo. I'm Great job. This completes your tasks for the night. I think I'm safe here too, right? Actually, no, this is the scripted jump scare. Never mind, it doesn't matter. La -la. Daddy, let me die. Be still. 
and quiet. Okay. I kidnapped you. What? That's illegal. And we're supposed to be on a date? What is this? It's yeah, I listened I listened to like all of Circus Baby's dialogue whenever I go to sleep at night. Literal queen of yapping. It's just so much. It's just so much. So many words are just leaving her mouth. So many words are being formed, and honestly, I'm not for it. Notice me, please. I have vocal cords, don't I? Oh! My wife. Keep in mind that just breathing on the spring locks can loosen them. I know that, but I've been wiggling like a fiend for like the past five minutes. And also, don't you think that's a bad uh, design for them to loosen upon coming into contact with your beautiful words that leave your mouth? Do. do you ever play make believe? No, because I'm grounded pretend in reality. Thank you. When you are really the other. Like how I pretend they that I'm not actually into like all the Five Nights at Freddy's inside. animatronics, but in reality, I have a problem. Get off! Quit it! Oh, you... Get off! Ugh. Oh, the ones in front are distractions? Okay. They're really... Oh. They're really piling in. Oh my gosh. I know the issue. I've been clicking them. It's a lot faster if you hold it down. I feel like an idiot. I kind of am, but regardless. Okay. It's pretty easy, honestly. Oh, gosh. I beefed. I beefed everywhere. Just gotta be on these little guys. These little gals, the little ones, the youngins, they're being silly. Okay, you're allowed to be like that sometimes, but as long as you keep it to an acceptable degree, as long as you, as long as you know what's important in life, you know, and that's really what's important is moderation and just knowing when enough's enough, right? That's what we're all about here on this channel. Gosh, oh my gosh. My baby. It's not my baby. You suck. Good, I like it warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. What? How will it all end? The passion, no way. the tension, the in Using the keypad below. I want exotic butters now. The keypad. Thank you for selecting exotic butters. Exotic butters. Please be aware that there are still two technicians on site today. Try to avoid interfering with their work if possible. Ask I'll go dab them up. I don't care. And encourage them. I'm gonna go like right next to him and just like dead like him. Hope he's not doing anything important. Probably shouldn't hang around them too much. That is such a cruel joke Let's because I know what this. I just. Make sure I know it's about to be revealed to mine eyes. Where did the mask always, go? Please uh, the mask is missing, and as you all know. That's what the point of the mask is. Baby. Hello, baby. Great job. Re oh, sorry. Remember how I said I could pretend? Sure. I really wasn't paying attention, if I'm being honest. Be Will you help me? Nope. I want you to. Oh wait, is that supposed to be Balor after you getting scoopered? There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. Cheek, you say? Five, seven, nine, good. A hat should have opened. This is so freaky, when what the heck? There, you mean I freaky isn't like scary or like kind of, you know? Your hand room. Get out of here. Get her moving. Get her scooped. Go forward. <laughs> I went forward. Please don't make me do that again. Oh. I'm just an impatient guy, okay? Whenever she said go forward, I was like, I'll just sprint forward. Evidently, don't do that. Yeah, I, I got it. Move slowly. I, I inferred that from that situation. Can you hear me? Yep. 
Say it. Two. Good. Yep. Take the now you must now turn get out of here. Give her a little peck on the cheek before she goes. Go forward and left. Stop. She's right next to me, isn't she? She is right in front of you. <gasps> Don't move. Um, she is right next to me, isn't she? You've entered a highly dangerous area. You have entered from maintenance hatch Highly dangerous is my middle and last name, and thank you. I got made fun of a lot for it. Personnel. If we looked like you, then we would have somewhere to go. Yeah, I don't want to be, like, too judgmental, but honestly, the like, the, the engineering, so from an engineering standpoint, the, the scooper doesn't really make much sense, because, yeah, realistically, how would that work anyway? Uh, like that, I suppose. You're wonderful. Wonderful. Uh oh. Yes, I'll take one one scoop of Michael Afton, please. Save a scoop of circus baby for me. Oh my gosh. It's just like sands from Undertale whenever his his eye glows blue. That that gave me chills. Christopher McCullough. My wife. My second wife. No comment on the rest of them. What am I doing here? It's just a puzzle, right? Feed single kids? What if they have girlfriends? That would make this a lot more difficult. Don't you agree? Basically, you have to... Um, you have to buy all of Five Nights at Freddy's again. You have to buy a security breach, play through all of security breach. Then once you beat that, you'll actually get a special code and you'll come to this game, insert that code, and then your computer will pull out a gun and shoot you in the head. And then you've won the game. Anyway, let's go on to Pizza Sim. On to the last game I ended up playing, Pizza Sim. One of my favorite FNAF games, actually. I probably would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't feeling like a corpse, but my streaming stamina just isn't there yet. Still, I gave it my best go. Let's go to our pizzeria, guys. I'm so excited. Wah. 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 I'm gonna get a new high score. Ooh. Okay, okay. Call me 8-Bit Ryan. So full of pizza. Watch this. Whoa. Got him. Greedy Freddy Fat Bear wants all pizza. Is that the game? I won. Oh, whoops. My bad. Man, you've been looking bad Three, since we broke up. Two, Don't look so down, though. I like the new look. The anyway, apparently I'm your therapist now. That that only Why does this keep happening to all the girls that I break up with? Light work, no Again, reaction. Document results. Light work, no reaction. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <gasps> what? You've saved money your whole life. It's true. Writing atmosphere is Jesus, so real. New customers. Ready Swag. for reinvestment. That is Health a cool there. Dun, 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 dun. I'm fixing things. Windows, if you keep yapping and giving me so much back sass, I'm going to delete you. We shall have... Balloon Barrel. Liability risk? Who cares? Give me the- give me the ducks. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. You've been here for way too long? Dude, you know what I'm doing? I'm playing all this. I'm just saying. Yes! 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 Fantastic. What a great noise to listen to repeatedly. Yeah, we need to get the flute punch for everyone, clown. Midnight motor is just tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Secret in it gives you a bunch of money? Okay. Money is my middle name. And my first name. And my last name. And my maiden name. Oh no! Vehicular manslaughter. There we go. <sighs> I'm home, sweetie. <laughs> Hello? 
Leave him alone tonight, he had a rough day. <sighs> Open up. I told you not to close your door. This is my house. He can't ignore me like that. Voice cracks swell. Open the door. I'll find a way in from outside. <laughs> um, what the flip? He broke my gosh darned window. Okay, this is not cool. Ran off to that place again. He'll be sorry when he gets back. You're gonna be sorry for that one. Amazing. Now this place is looking kinda sick. This should you be basically nothing tonight since I haven't scrapped anything. Comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming Don't call out me of petty. Pocket. And my job. job is done. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Thank you. Now let's I just appreciate focus that. on getting you through your end of day routine. Shut your mouth. Give it to me. You have chosen to proceed with document results. Get back. Control yourself. No. Begin. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Easy. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. I appreciate that, man. It means a lot. Yes! Fruit Punch Clown. Fruit Punch for everyone. Watch this. Yes! Fruit Punch for everyone. Fruit Punch for everyone. Sick. They have no idea they're about to get fruit punch. I envy them. I pity them, too. I don't know how you do those two at the same time, but, you know. Darn. Fruit punch for everyone. Oh, you little scamp. Fruit punch for everyone. Whatever. I'll take all but one. Fruit punch for everyone. Ned's a liability, but we don't really care. How dumb are you? Be real. Okay, very. I guess we'll see how hard this actually is. Yeah, the architect that like got the plan for this building must have been like, what is wrong with you? Anyway. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Interesting. What night am I on? Like night two. <laughs> Laughing like an idiot whenever he's literally going the wrong way. Okay. One task. This game is kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> was I hearing something to my left? Yes, I was. Okay. Go away, man, please. Fastest ending to get? I think maybe bankruptcy or blacklisted. I don't know what it's called. Sounds like bedtime. I'm feeling it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest, I might be logging off for tonight pretty soon. I didn't realize I had been streaming for seven and a half hours, which is a long time, if I'm being real. I'm no, I'm no astral spiff. I turned on the, I turned on the vent. Okay. I think that's a good time to maybe call it quits. Sorry everyone, I do not have the stamina. Alright, I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I might come back to this. If I don't, just harass me. That was a joke. Don't do that, please. Good night, everyone. I guess. Or horrible night. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, really. I don't care. Do what you want. And that's the end of it, everybody. I was honestly surprised with how far I went. And maybe at a later date, I'll give it another go. I'd like to add the other games at some point, like FNAF World and Help Wanted. But for now, this is all I could do. Maybe I'll try the Spiff speedrun at some point. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Have a good one.